Hold on one sec. I'm gonna be going through my playlist. I need to find the right tune. Nobody wins. Okay, not that one. Not that one. No, not that one. Alright. What's up there everybody? This is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review Baby Driver. So Baby Driver is written and directed by Edgar Wright and the film stars Ansel Elgort, Lily James, Kevin Spacey, Jamie Foxx, John Hamm, Aya Gonzalez, and John Bernthal. So Baby Driver tells the story of this getaway driver that has hearing damage. He works for this crime boss who gets these people to pull off these highs. And he's been trying to get himself out of this business for a while now, and especially since he met Lily James. And now he's in the middle of a very, very complicated situation. Situation. So Baby Driver is a film I was actually interested in. I was actually very interested in this film. I wouldn't say I was excited, however, but I was interested. What did get me actually excited for Baby Driver was that tequila trailer. If you guys have not seen that tequila trailer, watch that trailer because that is some of the most well-edited trailers I've ever seen. And... Edgar Wright has a huge fan base, and I really respect the guy as a director personally. But I have to be honest and say this, Edgar Wright is a very hit and miss director with me. I think Shaun the Dead and Hot Fuzz, those are really, really well made Edgar Wright films. Those are funny, those are entertaining, but I didn't really care for Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. I think that's just okay. And then there's The World's End, which I honestly just hated with the burning passion. Damn it, I'm gonna say this, Baby Driver is not only one of the most entertaining movies of the summer, but it's just in general one of the best movies I've seen this summer, as well of the entire year. Baby Driver is one hell of a movie. Edgar Wright does such a great job writing the script for this film. It's very creative storytelling right here, and he does go into very crazy places with this film, particularly once you get to the final act, just where everything comes together in the story from when the movie opens to when the movie ends. Edgar Wright does such a great job just writing the overall storyline. And the dialogue from these characters is so on point because of Edgar Wright. Even if it's very serious, he knew how to still make the character interactions just very, very interesting and really have me engaged. His script is definitely really strong here. And that same thing goes for his direction as well. This is a very well-directed film. It's one of the best directed films I've definitely seen this year. The action sequences in this film are intense. They are fun. It's just highly entertaining throughout when there's an action sequence going on. This opening scene, this opening scene alone just already screamed Edgar Wright. None of the action I thought was really shaky. Even if the action was a little bit shaky, I could still see what was going on and it wasn't distracting. It never took me out of the moment. I felt like I was in this atmosphere with all of these action sequences. And even the scenes where the characters are just talking, when there's no action uh, sequence going on, it's very well directed thanks to Edgar Wright right here. And I have to say how Edgar Wright used music in this film was excellent. Every single song choice that was in Baby Driver was spot on. Nothing fell out of place as far as music goes. Every single time a music was playing, it was really great. And it's all in the point of view of our main character, Baby Driver. Like from his point of view, when he raises up the volume, the music gets loud. When he takes off an earbud, when a character's trying to talk to him and you can hear the volume of the music lower, 
because one earbud is off or when he's listening to no music. That was very cool. So how Edgar Wright was able to incorporate music and to make it its own character was really clever on his part. That's really clever how music can really be a character and not only is it a character but it drives the storyline and me being someone that does love to listen to music I actually think that's pretty cool that Edgar Wright actually did that and to top it all off the performances in Baby Driver are all excellent honestly everyone gives a really great performance even John Bernthal who is barely in this film he is really good for what he has but to get to Ansel Elgort man this guy is awesome he is on fire in baby driver to see him doing something like this was actually really cool and i could tell ansel elgore had a blast he really adds to that coolness factor i honestly never saw him playing a role like this but after baby driver man did he pull off this role Lily James, the beautiful Lily James, she's really great in this film. And I thought she did a very great job of interacting with Baby because, you know, she plays the love interest for this character. And the way these two are interacting was very interesting. And that's the other thing I do want to add is that the romance in Baby Driver is actually very interesting. And thanks to Edgar Wright's very sharp writing, the romance in Baby Driver is really engaging. I really cared about the romance between Baby and the Bora. The chemistry is just truly terrific here and I think it's great on Baby's part considering Baby is in the middle of a very tough situation so for him to have someone to really latch onto was really great to see for the character and for Lily James's character too and because you could genuinely feel how much these two truly do care for one another. Kevin Spacey is terrific as the crime boss. I mean it's Kevin Spacey. You know the guy's going to give a really good performance. Hell, Nine Lives last year. Yes, that movie is utter crap, but even Kevin Spacey was really good in a crap movie like that. The guy knows how to act. It was very cool to see Kevin Spacey do a film like this. I could tell that he had a lot of fun playing this crime boss. He was very entertaining. He was very energetic. When he gets serious, however, man, you are shaking because you know this crime boss, when he means business, he really does mean business. But there was something cool about this character, though, that I don't really want to get much into, but they do take a turn with the character and while I know some people can maybe find it out of place I thought it was actually interesting and as far as you could say the criminals here the ones that are pulling off these heists Jamie Foxx is really entertaining he is funny at times he just has so much energy and charisma to him he really goes all out with this character I just honestly had a blast watching Jamie Foxx he's truly great here John Hamm is also really good in this film however where the film takes his character wow um yeah wow 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 that's all i can really say as far as that goes and that's the thing too edgar wright knows how to turn something into a 180 in this film without it feeling out of place he actually makes it feel natural aya gonzalez who i'm not really familiar with i don't believe i've heard of her before but she was actually really good in this film too i thought her character was very interesting and also she didn't come off as a surprise when i say that the cinematography and Baby Driver is excellent because Edgar Wright knows how to make great looking movies. Even if I didn't care for Scott Pilgrim and hated The World's End, the cinematography even in those films are really really on point and that continues here with Baby Driver. The movie is already a wild ride as it is but when we get to that third act that was crazy. I fell in love with the third act because of how balls to the wall they really go. And Edgar Wright's use of violence in this film was actually very creative too. And that's not uh, really a surprise either because he has been able to use that well in the past, but Baby Driver, even though it's rated R, it's not 
overly violent. That's a good thing. It's never grotesque. The movie is violent when it needs to be violent. And when it is violent, it never feels grotesque. It feels violent in the most necessary times. And I think that's thanks to Edgar Wright being smart on how to use the violence here. And just where the film led up to its ending, I thought was very well handled. And it wasn't really something I expected. And that's something I have to definitely appreciate. Edgar Wright went in places I wasn't really expecting and I think as a whole the film really did pay off. Now as far as problems do go with Baby Driver I don't really have a lot but as far as the only flaws I was able to find with Baby Driver I do think that the film drags just a little bit as far as the overall pacing. It's a very well paced movie but there was a point where I was feeling the pacing just a little bit with the film. John Bernthal was very under used here. Granted, he is very good, but I thought he was very underused, and I think it would have been cool if the film got to use his character to his advantage, like they did with Aya Gonzalez, Jamie Foxx, and John Hamm especially. My god, that they really use him to uh, his full advantage. But John Byrne, though, he just shows up. I'm not going to say where in the movie he shows up, but he just shows up for a little bit and you never see his character or even hear from his character again. And I think it would have been cool if he was part of the journey like with the rest of the characters. And I will say that there are times where the film is a little questionable as far as logic goes. Like there are moments where I'm going, hey, what, 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 what? Even in a few moments in the third act, as much as I love that third act and trust me that third act blew me away there were even a few moments in that third act where i was questioning the logic of it like i'm just going huh overall baby driver is one hell of a movie with amazing editing amazing filmmaking with the action sequences making them just so energetic the character interactions being so engaging the film getting crazier and wilder as it's going on the movie is just very original it's very creative definitely one of the best films of the summer and of the year i'm gonna give baby driver three and a half out of four stars so you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about Baby Driver. And since Edgar Wright has made five films now, I'm actually curious to know what is your favorite film from Edgar Wright? Hell, since he's made five films now, you can even rank the five Edgar Wright movies if you want to. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power. Okay, and uh, wait, before you all go, I need to find a good song for my outro. Hold on, hold on. And there you go.